What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a long time, but I finally got the ZR2 back out of the shop. Last time I posted a video, it was because it was on the rollback and unfortunately it took a giant dump and was done. So here we are out here in the middle of nowhere. Figured I'd give you guys the update. I have had it back now for just a little while. I have put about 1500 miles on it because I wanted to test it, go over it, make sure that everything worked properly before I posted this video. That's where they didn't give me much information for very long periods of time. But then finally when it came in and I got the uh, uh, bill, which is zero dollars because everything was warrantied out. Uh, they told me that a thrust bearing failed and heated up the crankshaft until it would not rotate. So they had to remove and replace the entire engine. Got a new engine sent in. Like I said, it took forever for it to come in, it seemed like. And then apparently when they got it in, a fuse block was found to be faulty. So they ended up changing that as well. So my overall experience, I was out the out without a truck for mm, it was right around 40 ish days um hobson chevrolet in the closest town to where i live they treated me amazing uh, i i did take it originally to the dealership in which i bought the truck from and um needless to say it was a pain in my butt took it into them uh the night that it all happened and I called them the next morning and I said, okay, here's the situation. And they basically said, well, it'll be 48 hours before we even get to look at it to even attempt to diagnose it. And I was like, okay, go figure. So I called Hobson's down in Martinsville, Indiana. If you live in this area and you have a Chevrolet, they have treated me excellent ever since I've been going to them. But um, I took it, had it taken over to them. They got it in within same day and said hey your engine's locked up we can't tell you the exact problem of what it is yet so they didn't know that the uh, crankshaft locked up and overheated so um but same day that i took it into them unlike the dealership that i bought it from uh, i asked them if they would have any kind of rental or anything along those lines that they could give to me to use while my truck was down no hobson's yes same day gave me a rental that was completely paid for. Um, they put me in a GMC terrain. So, I mean, it's not my truck, but it was still, it was paid for. They gave me something to drive. Um, very nice, worked out for me perfectly. Um, and then they called me at least twice a week with updates on anything that they could on what they would heard from GM or if they responded or gave them any updates on where the motor was, when it was being shipped, anything of that nature. So it was really nice um, to have the dealership actually work with me and help me to try to get this resolved as opposed to my original dealership that I bought it from, which is Greg Hubler Chevrolet in Mooresville, Indiana. I will not ever refer anybody together to buy anything. Their service department's a joke. Um, I did have a couple of people who I worked with there who was very nice, very courteous, but my overall experience with that place is a joke. I will never go there again. I actually have another vehicle that I'll be revealing soon on the channel that was just ordered through Hobson's in Martinsville. Um, it's a 2023 something that's coming in. Um, I will be putting it on the channel and I am looking to order another brand new one probably in about year year and a half tops and i will be going through them as well and then gm actually reached out to me afterwards and they wanted to do um a compensation type of package if you will for my downtime and for not having my truck even though i did get an suv they were like well it's not your truck we understand that and um they offered me three year thirty six thousand mile maintenance package um a lot of people are like oh well that ain't nothing hey you know what it was free they gave it to me they fully honored honored my warranty so i'm not going to complain uh, i only really truthfully made one truck payment while i didn't have my truck granted it was longer than that time frame overall that i didn't have it but and you look at the grand scheme of things of the oil changes and stuff over three years that alone is going to pay for you know 
more than what I paid for my truck payments. Uh, I know everybody's truck payments are different. Some people's are seven, some people a thousand, some people 450, you know, just whatever you put down, whatever your credit is, everybody's is different. And I get that. But for me, um, it was a nice little added package that I got for it, for my travels from GM. So, um, I know there's some people out there on YouTube that's had engine problems, not quite as severe as mine where the engine was completely done. Um, if I can point, uh, the ZR2 is back. Um, I am very, very happy to not hear the SUV that I was in anymore. It's very nice to actually hear this exhaust again. Uh, and it is functioning. So I just fired it up. We're going to go down the road here. We're going to drive. And just so you guys can see that everything's working. Let me flip around here. Um, no lights on the dash minus parking brake but that's okay but everything seems to be working good i have no lights whatsoever they fixed it so because uh, whenever i would go to try to start it it just said uh I, I don't really remember the code or the the message that came up on there but it basically was just telling me that hey your truck has no power it has no nothing even though I had power from my battery, just the truck itself, the electronics in it, it was done. And that's just due to the motor being locked up. Now the downfall is, is my odometer is not gonna be correct as far as the engine mileage is concerned. Uh, my truck shows 11,000 miles right now. Like I said, that's only about 1,500 miles currently on this new engine, so. say I missed that sound and I'd love to hear it again just great overall experience happy with it am I happy that my truck went down and locked a motor up at 9,450 miles or whatever it was no I'm not but it got taken care of in my opinion it got taken care of in a pretty timely manner considering today's world and the way everything is so um sneak peek to what's coming i've got one two three three kind of reviews on some newer vehicles uh, i'm gonna bring to the table on the channel so you guys can tell me what you think you can tell me if you want me to do more videos on them or anything that gets done to them i'll probably post on here um change the variety out of just from the zr2 because don't get me wrong i love this truck i love what it can do and it's amazing off-road that's the review. Hopefully it answers questions to anybody how the warranty process goes. Um, hopefully it helps uh, bring some of the people back into the limelight of GM with their warranty and the things that are being said out there because it's not always bad. You know, sometimes it's just the situation and, you know, maybe let's say it is bad eight out of ten times. I guess I was just two of those ten, one of those two. So, but guys, until the next video... I appreciate you watching. Hopefully this update helps people with uh, things you gotta go through when stuff like this happens. And I look forward to showing you guys the next vehicle that we're gonna bring out. Take it easy, stay safe.